A day like this will not be complete without appreciating the role played by the likes of Colonel Abubakar Rangiwa Umar, the likes of Chief Abraham Adesanya, Alani Akao Bosharun, and the likes of Fred Eno. Mr. President, even though the governor of Kaduna State removed me from the seat, I will always remember that he was one of those who stood for us when we were in prison. He was among those who kept the torch of freedom alive while many of us languished in the cell. Mr. President, I would like to draw your attention to these facts and these truths. The national anthem cannot unite a nation. A national pledge cannot unite a nation. A constitution cannot unite a nation. A nation is united by the ideals of freedom. A nation is united by equity and by justice. Many younger generations of today have not and couldn't know the sacrifice we have made to restore democracy to this country. It is important that we bring to attention to those who were not here in those days of the struggle. This democracy was not a gift given to us by the military. It was not a lottery that we won. It was a product of struggle and sacrifice. There were people who were forced into exile, like the president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces, and the likes of Wale Shoinka. There were people who were sent to prison, like us. We were supposed to spend the first 15 years of our life in prison, but by the magnanimity of God, we were out. There were many who were dead. This democracy was a product of struggle. The Academic Staff Union of Nigeria made sacrifices. Nigeria media made sacrifices. The Nupeng, headed by the like of Frank Kokori, made sacrifices. The National Association of Nigerian Students made sacrifices. This democracy was a product of that struggle, was a product of that commitment, and was a product of that determination. Mr. President, you have a duty to succeed. If you succeed, you will share your glory because you came from the trenches, you came from that struggle, you come from that period of struggle. Mr. President, if you fail, they will say that those of you who fought for democracy have nothing new to offer to Nigeria. We will pray for you and we believe that the reforms which you have taken, there is no doubt about it, you too have recognized the untold hardship and the suffering it has inflicted on millions of people. But we are expecting that at the end of the day, it will be a fruit. And people will rejoice and say that the sacrifices that they have made, the consequences of that reforms, was something that was worth all this trouble. Mr. President, thank you for the honor and the privilege and do something about the Nigerian prisons because they were the ones who hosted us in those days and in those dark days of the struggle. And on the last call, Mr. President, there are some people who are still in detention as a result of the NSAS protest. They were young people who were protesting for justice, for freedom, and for democracy. Any young protester in Nigeria today learn from you because you were the father of protest in Nigeria. Do something about it. Give them the freedom. You taught us, you funded us to stand up and fight. So they are your children and your grandchildren. Give them the pardon. Thank you and God bless.